Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So today is super exciting because today's video, as you can see, is a sit down video. Um, and as promised, this is like a mommy related video. So yeah, just FYI, I have like a weird setup because I don't have like a viewfinder. If you see me looking behind the camera, it's because I have like a mirror set up to make sure it's still recording. Um, and also, I know it looks like I don't have pants on, I swear I do, I have shorts. Also, I have Jericho um, sitting right here while he's like laying down. <laughs> He's like in his own world right now, but he is um, playing so you might hear little baby noises. That's just him and I will also be looking that way. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be a what's in my diaper bag and I have my diaper bag here. So this is the one I use. It is a Fawn Design um, diaper bag and this is the mini size. I actually like smaller bags as opposed to really large bags because um, anyone who knows me knows that I hate carrying anything heavy, like I just, it really bothers me and I hate like shoulder bags. Um, a lot of diaper bags look super bulky and just like, like hiking backpacks. This one actually goes with like cute outfits and things like that. And this is actually a really good size, um, even though it is the mini. So just a quick disclaimer, I am a super minimalistic type person when it comes to um, just baby stuff in general. What's wrong, Baba? I think he might start crying. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't, but um, I'm just a very minimalistic person when it comes to like baby stuff. So I don't carry a whole lot of extra things that a lot of moms typically carry. Okay, so as I said, this is the fawn design. This is a yellow diaper bag, and I know a lot of people are turned off by this color, but I thought it was so cute. And this is from their spring collection. I don't think this is in stock anymore, but I'll still link their um, website down below because they do have other colors in the mini, and they're actually really cute colors. So, first things first is my wallet, and I keep my wallet here in this back um, pocket right here. That way it's just easy to pull in and out um, when I'm shopping around. So I just keep that in this little back area here, and I'm just trying to make sure, yeah. So you can see that there. Um, this also has two side pockets, which I don't keep anything in. Um, it has a front pocket. And then it has a little zip pocket, which I typically keep hair ties in here, but um, I actually took them out because I used them at some point and I forgot to put them back in. And then I ended up just losing them, so I don't have any to show right now. But typically I'll keep um, like my hair ties in here. Okay, I had to kind of console Jericho. Um, okay, so when you open up the bag, it opens up pretty much the whole top and the first thing I always keep is a mask because you have to wear these pretty much everywhere you go where I live right now um, and so I just keep that handy the following thing that I have let me make sure you can see yeah is hand sanitizer because again <laughs> everywhere you go you have to sanitize your hands either after you touch everything or like once you leave the store restaurant wherever you're going um, this one is actually a disposable bottle and I just refill it with hand sanitizer so that's why it looks like that but there you go. The next thing, so Jericho has recently started liking toys so I keep a little, um, this is actually a teether but he likes to play with it so I keep a little toy in here just in case he starts getting fussy I know this will calm him and because I'm now carrying a toy in here is if you can see this back pocket right here, I keep some pacifier, bottle cups, and toy wipes. And these are just the Arm & Hammer. This is, I think this is actually the travel size, so it's really small and it fits perfectly in my bag. So I keep this in case the toy falls on the ground, which does happen pretty often. Um, and then I have to wipe it down with this. So. The next thing, as you can see, is a bib. This is for when I'm feeding him. There's like stuff all over it. Um, I put a bib on him, that way it doesn't get on his clothes. So we got that. And then because I feed him when we're out, I also have a, um, what is this called, burp cloth. And this is just a Burt's Bees burp cloth. I really like these burp cloths because they're like thick. 
so the milk doesn't like um, like if he spits up it doesn't get through and like get on my clothes or get on his clothes um, so yeah I have a burp cloth okay so the next thing you can see in here is this bag and this is a diaper holder bag as you can see it has like a little clip here in the front and I bought this off Etsy and I just thought it was so cute to like keep all the diapers in as opposed to just having them like kind of thrown in your diaper bag so when you open this up I have a matching changing pad excuse you <laughs> my dog just walked out in the front okay so this is the matching changing pad this one doesn't have padding on it I know you can order some with padding on it from this Etsy shop but um, apparently I guess because of shipping purposes she can't add padding to certain if she's gonna ship to like certain states um, and it names what states she can't ship padding to so my states was one my states my state was one of them and so I just had to buy the regular one but it's fine I mean I rarely have to change them when we're out like on a hard surface so um, without the padding it's fine and then the next thing in this bag are some diapers so these are the ones he's using right now these are the loves brand which I really actually like this brand um, I like this one and Pampers but um, I got so many different Gizzy, go on your way. I got so many different types of diapers before he was born, so right now I'm kind of just going through all of them. This has definitely been one of my favorites, though, and I think Loves are from Walmart, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they are, once he runs out of these diapers, I'll probably rebuy the Loves, but I usually keep about five or six. Um, this is five right here, and this is just because when we go out, we're not out for a long time. Um, time usually so this is like more than enough the next thing in this little bag is some wipes this is a travel um, size so this is the Huggies and this is the 32 pack I don't like to carry a giant pack just because again I have a smaller bag and I don't like carrying a lot of stuff so this size is actually perfect and um, you know like I said we don't go out too often so this lasts quite a while and then the last thing in this bag is butt paste, and this is a travel size of the Bordeaux butt paste, if I'm saying that right. Um, and so, yeah, this is just in case he starts getting a rash, which does happen. I wouldn't say it's, like, very often, um, but sometimes he does start getting a rash. I put this on it, and it's gone within, like, a few hours. So this stuff is really, really good. And, yeah, so it all fits nicely in this little diaper pouch case whatever you want to call it and i'll try to link her etsy shop down below i know she was kind of running low on inventory just because of covid but she should be back up i ordered this a while back um but it's bell and bubs so and the next thing in my diaper bag getting to the bottom there oh yeah so also these fawn design bags i'm trying to make sure i'm showing right they have these little clips on them on the inside so i just keep my car key on here because um i don't need the car key to actually open my car it's one of those like remote ones so um i just keep my car key in here i never have to take it out I keep an empty bottle and I have a few things that I'm going to show you that I keep in my car so I'll explain why the bottle is empty. I don't keep like a full bottle when I go out and about um, just because I never know how long he's going to go before feeding and I don't want the milk to get, go bad so I just have an empty bottle and this is the Tommy Teepee, Tommy, Tommy Teepee, Tippy, Tommy Teepee or Tippy, but he likes these bottles somewhat he's starting to like reject bottles and only want the boob so that's a thing <laughs> the last like loose item i have in here is this bag and i call this my mommy pouch because it's everything that i would need while we're out so i have a little body spray i have a hand uh cream just in case my hands get dry I have some Tylenol, which actually Tylenol doesn't work for me, so I need to go and get um, ibuprofen because acetaminophen actually gives me like a headache 
more so, but I keep in here because this is all I had. So that I have a little chapstick and um, also a lip color. This is just like an Ulta one, and then tampons because because you know. So that all just fits nicely in this little pouch. And I actually got this pouch a while back, um, but it is Primrose Hill London. I um, like little pouches like this for things like this. So, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And then the last thing, there are like little slots and pockets throughout the bag. I don't really keep stuff in there except for nursing pads. Let me, let me just get him really quick. Okay, hopefully I'm in the same spot. But I think what I was saying is the last thing in my bag are nursing pads. And this is just in case I start leaking. I'm at the point already where my boobs really aren't leaking that much anymore. So um, I just have three just in case. You never know when your body's just going to take a turn on you. So I keep those in there. And yeah, that's everything I keep in my bag. So as you can see, it's very minimal. I don't, um, you know, take like anything really extra as far as like things that could happen, which there's nothing wrong if you do do that. It's just um, like for me, if I'm ever out and about and I figure I have to buy something or I have to there's like something in my bag that I didn't pack. I'll just go out and like buy it at the, the nearest store. So, um, you know, it's not like a huge is issue to me. And then things that I keep in my car. So every time I watch these videos, I don't see anyone talk about anything that they keep in their car. I think most people, they do just keep it in their diaper bag. I keep a few things just in my car ready to go just in case. So the first thing is a blanket. Um, I never know if whatever store we're going to go to is cold or not. So I keep a blanket just in case and um, this will go in his stroller and you know if it gets cold then we'll use that. The next thing I keep is a manual pump. So this one is the one that I use. Um, I just washed it, that's why it's wet. But this is the Lancino pump and this one I really really love. This is also the only one I've ever used. <laughs> Hi, Bubba. He is so cute. He's just like staring at me talk about this stuff. Um, this is the one that I've ever used and I love it. And um, it was pretty inexpensive. It was only like 25 bucks, I think. Um, but I keep this in my car. So, as I was saying earlier, when I don't take like full bottles with me, if he starts getting hungry, I will just go to the car really quick, pump super quick. I think it takes me like five minutes to pump like four ounces. And then I'll put it in his bottle. That way it's fresh milk. You know, there's no chance that it went bad or anything like that. Um, so that's just what I like doing. The next thing I keep in my car is his change of clothes. So I keep it in this little pouch here. Um, I ordered him some shoes when uh before he was born and it came the shoes came in this little bag from piper finn so i'm just repurposing it and using it as his clothes bag so i keep a change of clothes i keep a beanie just in case some little pants just in case <laughs> um a little onesie some socks little socks and then a plastic bag because obviously if I'm needing to change him it's because whatever clothes he was wearing got dirty so I keep a plastic bag in here I also I'm just remembering I usually keep a plastic bag in my regular diaper bag um, for his dirty diapers but I forgot to put a new one in there Alrighty, everyone so Jericho is getting fussy I think he's hungry now um, so I'm going to go ahead and attend to him, but thank you for watching my video. As I said throughout the video, I'll try to link as much things down below as I can, including my bag and just like different things that I mentioned. Um, please let me know if this is like a video, um, that you liked and if <laughs> he's just talking right now. If you want me to do any more mommy related videos or if you're just like, no, don't ever show your face again, like just stick to budgeting, 
I will do that too. <laughs> um, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one, whether it's a budget video or a mommy video. Um, and I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.